In today's video, we're going to be installing Integrated Engineering's PolyLid for the Mark 7 V2 intake system on my Golf Sport Wagon. And I'm going to show you just one thing that I did to make it even better. All right, before we dive into this install, I do have some pretty awesome news to share with you all. Integrated Engineering is now a minor sponsor of the Dad Wagon. That means I get to work with them a little more closely. I get a little discount when I buy products from them. And you guys get a discount when you buy products from them. You get 10% off anything on their site with my promo code now, Dad Wagon. So if you've been thinking about picking up anything such as this lid, their intake system, or really anything else IE makes, now might be a great time to do it. Just use the promo code DADWAGON and this also makes it a great way to support this channel and keep more content coming because I do get a percentage of the sales when you purchase. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you've probably seen my install video of the Integrated Engineering V2 Mark 7 intake. And it's actually one of the most viewed videos on this channel with over 62,000 views. Uh, so that's why I won. I've always wanted this product anyways, and I thought it would be a great one for all the people who watched that original video if you don't already have the lid. It's one of my favorite pieces and parts that I've ever installed on this car. It makes the engine sound great. When you're inside driving, it adds a lot of fun to the car in general. So I was really excited to get started with this lid project as well, which... It's fast, easy, and really cleans up a lot of things. The lid is really designed to help finish off the look of the IE intake. Originally, when this intake came out, you could get it with a carbon fiber lid, which was beautiful, but also super expensive. This poly lid came out a little while ago, and it really helps clean things up. I would argue it also, to me, looks better than the carbon fiber lid because it matches everything else under the hood of your car. Your engine cover, if you have a battery cover like I do, it's color matched to that. The fuse box cover, it just really looks like it all fits together really nice. Others would argue that it also helps keep air intake temperatures down by keeping out any hot air coming from the engine and your turbo to a little bit more insulation. Out of the box, I includes everything you need, all the hardware. You got some standard Allen key bolts and some washers to go with it. So as I mentioned, IE includes all the hardware you need, which is 6 M4 bolt and 1 M6 bolt. Now, if you're like me, someone who's working on their car often, checking things out in general, making sure your air filter is clean on a regular basis, cleaning your engine bay, doing maintenance, whatever, your air filter, at least in my case, is something that comes off pretty often. Now you're going to have 6 M4 bolts and 1 M6 bolt to undo every time, which also means you need the right bits or Allen keys in order to do that. Not a huge problem, but it was one where I was curious if we could find a better, quicker way to install this, considering that this part isn't necessarily something that needs great fasteners or uh, really hard connections to ensure it's not going to fly off or it's going to perform the way you need it to. So you might see where I'm going here. I wanted to see if I could switch out this hardware with something that I could install and remove by hand. So it sent me down this path to find different either thumb screws or knurled knobs that would fit that M4 and M6 size, look pretty good, as well as serve the purpose that they needed to. So I went online and I ordered a bunch of different pieces of hardware and reviewed a bunch to see what I would like. And here's what I landed on. So starting on the left, what you see here is an M6 knurled knob, which is about six to eight millimeters of thread depth and something that is pretty nice aesthetically because this is one of the pieces that you'll actually see. And you'll see I ordered an extra one and I'll show you why in a second. And then I tried two different styles for the six M4 bolts that would go behind to hold in the majority of the poly lid. One style is a knurled knob in aluminum in black that looks pretty good, but it protrudes a little bit. The other style is something that is used a lot in camera equipment, and one of the reasons why I knew about it, which would be a standard screw that has a D-ring attached to it. Now, these ones are silver, they're M4 in size, but that D-ring can go flush or flip up, 
to help you screw and unscrew the bolt. I went through and tested out each of these pieces of hardware. The brass neural knobs worked just the way I wanted them to. Really, it was just an aesthetic decision in between the black knurled knobs versus the D-ring screws. And in the end, the D-ring screws are a little bit more flush and just a little bit more hidden in general and are a nice way to screw and unscrew the bolt itself. So I ended up going with the D-ring. So now let's head on over to the install and I'll show you how it all ended up turning out. So this is where the other M6 bolt comes in and why I would suggest buying two if you're going to pick up these neural knobs. So this bolt I'm removing here actually doesn't attach the lid but does hold on part of the air intake system. If you replace this bolt with one of the neural knobs, you'll then have a matching setup on both the right and left side of the car and the intake. So that's it for the install. It's super easy. Now I can pull the lid off in just a matter of seconds. Instead of having to go find the Allen key I need or the bit that I need to take off the lid, especially if I'm on the go or something happens on the side of the road, I'm able to take off this lid and access what I need to, which I really, really like. Now I've only had it installed for a couple of days, but so far it works the way it should. It's a non-functional part in most cases. So, uh, but Looks great. Fitment is on point. And yeah, I couldn't be happier with it. So in the end, if you're running the IE intake, this lid is a solid addition. And for the price, it's really hard to beat. And now you did an extra 10% off if you use Dadwagon. If you're going to do this project, I would suggest at least taking a look at the thumb screw swap because it really it cost me less than $15 to order these extra parts. I think they're a big enhancement and uh I think it's pretty cool. Now, if you're watching this video because you're also going to buy the V2 intake at the same time, I would highly suggest you checking out my original video about the intake install, which is one of our most viewed videos here, and I'll link it up above. Thank you everyone for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Oh, 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 o